Hello everyone and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I'm the Technical Manager for MIS here at Trimble. In today's video, more than a trick, I would actually like to talk to you about a long-standing feature that I have noticed very recently that a lot of our clients have no idea it's available in the system. Uh, this is called finalizing jobs. The first thing to know about finalizing a job is that it's not reversible. So it is an action that has to happen at the very end of the project. Once you know that there won't be any more requests from the job sites, any changes in drawings, and, and you know, back because of that, any material that has to be purchased or something like that. Uh, this is an action that you will be able to find inside of a production control job from the drop down menu, uh, from the purchasing options. There is finalizing right there. Now, in this case, I have finalized this job already, so I am I can always click finalizing here with, without any concerns. But again, as I said, it's not reversible, so make sure that you click this at the very end. Uh, the benefits that you get out of this is you don't have to manually go in into the inventory and release materials reserved for a job to your open stock, so it's available for other jobs to take it. Um, that's how I came up with this because I see a lot of companies are still going through that process at the end, just going and releasing materials uh, so they can actually take them for different jobs or trying to keep that information on their mind, right? I see companies running, combining, and trying to remember which jobs to set into the filter so that, so that PowerFab can go in and contemplate those materials in your combining run. So it is a good idea to be finalizing those jobs. Now, you can see here that this is telling them once the job is finalized, the production control and purchase orders features will no longer be available. So again, just be very aware of that and very careful. Uh, if you have any materials here waiting on a requisition, those will simply be deleted. And then as you can see here, inventory items that are reserved for the job will be simply on reserve. So if you click finalize again, as I said, this is already finalized. So you cannot just do it twice, right? But uh, just to give you the example. Uh, another thing is you can see these bolts, for example, are not being purchased or anything like that in a finalized job. You will not be able to take actions as I said. Even if you try, if, if you go and try to push those to a requisition or a purchase order, for example, uh, when you click the import action, it will tell you this is being finalized. There is nothing that you can do about it. This will also create a more friendly interface for uh, PowerFab, but also for PowerFab Go mainly, because let me let me actually close this job. When you go to production control the next time, uh, and if I go to the 2018 in, in my database, you can see that it looks like I only have one job, but when I check this box on the top that says show, uh, show close jobs, I actually have plenty of, of some other jobs, but it's just that they were finalized already. That's why they weren't showing by default. Any finalized jobs, uh, by default, they didn't, they do not show up in PowerFab Go, okay? Any of the finalized jobs will not be using a space in your list of jobs in PowerFab Go. So that will be making it easier for the shop workers that are, you know, scrolling through the different jobs uh, to have a more reduced list where they can choose where they are working on for the day. Uh, hopefully you will find this insightful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Please feel free to, as always, to contact your help desk area with some deeper questions. And as always, thank you for watching.